All right, so this is the this is the consumer unit um, that my electrician added in. Um, so it, it's a bit of a mess, um, as you can see. Um, there's quite a few Shelleys on show, but basically this cabinet uh, has wires going to each of the switches in the kitchen and wires going to each of the lights in the kitchen. Uh, it also has power coming in. Um, I've got some ethernet cables coming in too. Um, but you can see that there's, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's seven Shelleys installed. Um, I've just removed one. So there would be eight Shelleys uh, installed in this unit making it very untidy. Um, the other problem is because this case is metal, uh, the, the Shelleys really struggle to get a good clean Wi-Fi connection. Um, I have isolated the power, um, which I'm gonna test. So I've, I've got my fluke tester here um, and I've identified that this is the loop, these two brown wires here. So they come from the consumer unit and return to the consumer unit. Um, so I'm going to be trying to rewire this. And I'm going to install uh, one of these. So this is the Shelly 4 Pro or the Shelly Pro 4. Um, you may be able to see on the side there that this will handle four switches. So there's four relays baked in here. So I can wire in uh, four switch wires, one neutral, and then four lives coming in and then four switch lives uh, go into the lights. So I'm going to try and break this down. Um, I'll have to do this very slowly. Um, you can see I've already done one. So I already have a switch wire here and I already have a lighting wire um, here. So I've kind of got a little bit of a start done, but I've got to be careful about how I've wired it or, or how I need to rewire it. So I'll be taking my time uh, doing this. Um, I'll try and do a time lapse and hopefully it won't take me more than an hour to maybe do one. I'll keep you posted. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the first couple of Shelleys removed. Um, so basically what I did was change all the switch wires. So we took them out of the switch wire on each of the Shelleys, put them into the switch wires at the bottom, and then basically remap the lives. So we've got live and then the, the feed to the each individual light is going out there. So the way the electrician has wired this up is that um, each of the switched lives um, this is connected off the um, the loop, so they are powered independently. So then I just take um, from this one, from the fuse board, from the feed, I feed that into this uh, WIGO connector, and then that splits that into four. Um, and then I take each of these these ones. These run off to the lights themselves. So that's the first pass. Um, so I've checked that I've got no loose lives neutrals these are effectively these these five um now are all essentially disconnected because the the live was hopping through from one to one um so they're now essentially disconnected so i'm going to go out now i'm just going to check my wiring again um and then i'm going to go out to the fuse board and turn it on and we'll see where we land Okay, hopefully you can see that. Um, we're in business. Uh, three of the relays are in an off position. One of them's on. Um, and I 
think that's actually the outside lights. Um, so I should now be able to use the control here. And turn these on. And the lights have indeed come on behind me, which is fantastic. Uh, you can, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but there's actually uh, power usage coming through as well. Um, so the high one there, 29 watts, that's running all the outside lights. So there's quite a few of those bulbs there, whereas the rest of these at the moment are just single lights. Um, okay, so that's all good. I'm gonna go back out now, knock the power off again, and remove the remaining couple of shellies. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella shit that I don't become you I have no regrets Alright, as you can see, both the relays have lit up now, um, which is good So I can control them You might also be able to make out the bottom um, the land lights are blinking, so that's good. Uh, I'll obviously have to go in and have a look at the settings um, to understand how to actually. Oh, here we go. Um, so I can turn the Wi Fi off. Bluetooth off. Okay, so we should just now be using Ethernet and the same on this one. Turn that off. I'll turn the Bluetooth off. And how do I go? Oh no, I think I have to wait for it to go back. Do I hold this down? There we go. I go into status so I can see this has got an IP address. And if I go into status, this has an IP address as well. So that's go back to the main. Let me just test these now. So that's that's, that's the down lights. There's the pendant behind me, and that's probably the utility room based on the consumption or the side lights. Um, they'll obviously have to map these. <coughs> um, the electrician did number each of the Shelleys to let me know what the circuit was, but I can just remap these now that I've rewired them. Um, and I'll just put the cover on it, uh, tidy these cables away. Um, I'm looking at this big mess and I'm wondering if it might be better to try and use some of the space down the side, but I think it's okay. The Shelleys aren't gonna go anywhere. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm happy with that. I'll get the cover on, get those punched out, and then I can clean this cabin up and then we're all done. All right, that's it. Shelleys are in, covers are on, case is back on. Um, job done.